Arregla. I'm so sorry, Chet. Say that again. Ayer tenía la oportunidad sí, de... La oportunidad de hablar con una persona de, de México que está arreglando mi, arreglando mi carro. Y tenía, hablaba a él en español casi todo el tiempo. Y, <ríe> y, mi, y mi, mi coche está muy bueno ahora. Okay, muy bien. <ríe> es bueno, es bueno. A veces cuando, es, cuando necesito a, a llamar a un, una compañía, un, una empresa, uh, aquí en Estados Unidos a veces ellos dicen para español, marque número dos. Uh -huh. Sí. Y normalmente es es mucho, mucho más rápido uh, hablar con ellos en, en, en uh, español, ¿ok? Porque uh, en inglés a veces necesita esperar por como 20 minutos, pero uh -huh. si marcan español, es como un minuto. <risa> a veces yo tengo mucho miedo de cuando se empuje eso para español, especialmente cuando yo estás hablando con dinero, con el banco o otra cosa, porque tengo miedo que yo, uh, que yo dice una cosa, que yo digo una cosa que no es bueno y se fue mi dinero. <risa> entiendo, <risa> entiendo, pero muchas veces ellos hablan inglés también. Ok. <laughs> y, y, y ellos cambia a inglés, cambia a hablar en, en inglés. Um, ok, bueno, no te preocupes. Muy bien, excelente. Gracias, Chet. Gracias. Ok, um, let's see. Anybody else? Michael, Doug, Rob, Jan. Jan gets the award today for being the first one in the waiting room. <laughs> Okay. I want to ask, uh, has everybody had an opportunity to practice with somebody this week? Sí. Okay. Con quien? Bob? Um, David. Con David. David. Okay. David. Ugarte. Sorry, Ugarte. David Ugarte. He is our hero, right? David. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. Anybody else talk to David this week? No. No. Ken, did you talk to David this week? You talk to Asalia this week, right? Okay. Um, what else? Anybody else practice? Oh, por supuesto. Um, sí, um, pero que es, es, es como um, un engaño porque um, pagar por lecciones uno a uno. Y pero hoy um, me uh, oh, um, reun, um, reunió reuní reuné con mi um, mi amiga María sí okay muy bien mm -hmm. excelente y dónde vive María oh um, ella es de um, México de la ciudad de México mm, sí y um, uh, originalmente um, uh, uh, la um, conocí en mi trabajo uh, porque ella um, es cliente en, en mi tienda y um, ah, la conocí y um, para um, tener un um, cambio no un cambio de, de lecciones inglés y español pero um, Estoy dibujante porque no soy un buen um, 
um, uh, maestra de inglés. Porque <risa> okay. Ella prefiere uh, hablar en español conmigo. Ah, ok. okay. <risa> bueno, bueno, entonces, muy bien, para ti es bueno. Oh, sí. Sí. Ok. <risa> Let's see. Julie Malone. Okay, let's see. Uh, can everybody see the chat? Anna is helping people, correct? Gracias, Anna. <laughs> mm -hmm. Great. All right. Um, Jan, can you see the chat? Oh, sí, sí. Okay, especialmente cuando yo estoy hablando con. Hoy me reuní. La conocí en mi trabajo. Now, for you, Jan, you can. Focus on um, for a simple past. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh, it's just you, you have a good Spanish for sure, but I think you will find um in an easier way the words when you are talking if you if you review the or if you do a few lessons of uh, simple past. Mm -hmm. That is intermediate one, I think. In the book, uh, she can she can start with basic with the basic in the in the basic lessons. You will find easy examples that you will remember easily, and you can use them immediately. Um, yeah. Great. Okay. Well, here we go. Um, everybody, ready to jump in to some examples? Sí. Uh, okay, Bryce, you want to tee this up for us? What do we got this yes. week? Yes. I, well, I want to ask Chet something. Uh, Chet, when you said for fixing the car, what verb did you use for that? How did you say that verb for fixing? Arreglar. Arreglar. No. It's, 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 it's arreglar. Arreglar. Yeah. Yes. A -R -R -A. I just wrote it in the chat. Oh yeah, Arika. You were here. Huh? Mm -hmm. Good job, Bryce. Is that a regular verb? Yeah, it's just a, yeah, it's just a regular, it's a regular verb. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. You're welcome. I love it. <laughs> um, um, what we're doing today is um reflexive verbs and um uh present progressive that's that's what we're doing today because uh, can you repeat of, that please yes uh we are doing present progressive and reflexive verbs today so, could you give an example in english for a program okay yes yes good Thank gracias you. gracias you. gracias <laughs> uh, uh, well present progressive is, is like if you say you know uh what are you doing you know, que estás haciendo. You know, that's a that's a present progressive. Okay. Uh, talk about. Um, now uh, the reflexive is you know like um, um, you know I'm going to get up at six o'clock, for example. Um, voy a levantarme a la a la seis. Well, actually, I use that in a thing, but le, le, levantarse is a reflexive verb. So. So basically, you know, verbs, is, you know, need, right, uh, yeah. need the pronouns, may, <clears throat> say, they, nos. See. Now I'm going to get myself up. Yes. Yes. All right. Um, Things that we do within ourselves. Admit Charlotte's coming in. Sorry, I'm still, uh, we're still doing. Anna and I are still working with multiple little windows here for the for everything. Okay, <clears throat> good. And I want to see the chat also. Let me see. Chat. Okay. Good. All right. Well, let's bounce in. Let's play with some examples that Bryce has created for us again. <clears throat> You know the drill, but who wants to raise first? Nancy, <laughs> put your hand up. Okay. You're on mute. You're on mute, my dear. Okay. Está pintando su habitación. 
he is painting his room. Yes, you know, I, I meant to put another uh, noun for for room because habitación is more like uh, like at a hotel. I meant to put like cuarto, uh, but you but you you the translation your translation dormitorio. Yes, dormitorio. Yes. Um, do you want to also edit this document at the same time, Bryce? Um, Anna, I, yeah. <laughs> Anna, should, should we should we invite? You can't expect them to type and talk. I'm gonna think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. <good. laughs> yes, please. Yes, please think about that. <laughs> <laughs> Convince okay. me first. <laughs> okay, so cuarto, right? Okay, so habitación, yeah. It's, it's it's like a hotel room. Yeah. Uh, also, this one one other little small thing, real quick. Um, someone was asking about a question about using the present progressive and just using like pinta su cuarto, which you know you could say he he paints his room. Of course, you know that in English, you know we wouldn't say that in English, but you know, we would say that in Spanish. So. Was doing just to show that you know in the in the moment you can use you can use está pintando su cuarto or pinta su cuarto dormitorio también dormitorio sí so are you saying that está pintando is also used for he paints his room well for he's painting his room but of course that you can use that. I mean, that's only to be used in the moment mm -hmm. uh, because they're actually, he's actually doing it at, at that moment. You know, of course, it would be incorrect if you say, well, what is he doing tomorrow? You know, está pintando su cuarto. You know, that would be incorrect, you know, to say, you right. know, you say, va a pintar su cuarto. Yep, yep. Good. Mm -hmm. Everybody clear? Sí. Great. Sí, sí, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, let's move on. Number two, somebody raise. Let up. me. Can you see my hand? I guess not. Yeah. What we're asking for, Chet, is um, down at the bottom. You have uh, uh, reactions. reactions. Yeah. Click that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Doug beat you to it. Go for, oh, it. Ah. Go for it, Doug. Good. Okay. <laughs> Good job, Doug. <laughs> Normal. Normalmente, me. Me levanté a las seis en mis uh, días del trabajo. Okay. Is this levantó. present tense, right? Levantó. Me levantó a las seis en mis días del trabajo. Okay. Say that, say that word again and look at... Levantó. Say levanto. Levanto. Yeah. Levanto. 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 Yeah. Can everybody hear the difference between levanto and levanto? Mm -hmm. Right. Levanto. Normalmente me levanto a las seis en mis días de trabajo. Perfecto. Perfecto. Thanks, Doug. I had that all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay. <clears throat> um. So this is reflexive. Why is it reflexive? It's because it's something I'm doing to myself or for myself, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Great. Uh, doesn't have an option to... Okay, we'll lower your hand for you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Nancy, I did lower your hand for you, so don't worry about it. Okay. All right. Um, so Chet, you want to do the next one? Okay. No lo es, no lo estoy haciendo bien. Yes, sir. I'm not doing well. Okay. Think about oh, that. He's not doing well. Think about that. No well, lo estoy. Et, who estoy, estoy es, who is who is that referred to? That refers to someone else, right? Mm -mm. No. To myself? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Oh, okay. So I'm, 
I'm doing something or not doing something in this case, right? I'm not doing I'm it. not doing well. Well I'm not doing it right. I'm not doing it good. Ah, I'm not sure. I'm not yet. Okay. I'm not doing it well. See if this makes not sense. Doing it. So the the low makes it a it. it. Mm -hmm. Right. right. I'm not doing it well. And yes, all the words get mixed up in in the order, but this is what it comes out to, right? Mm -hmm. And also, I'm not doing it right. Ah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's one of those things that doesn't translate word for word, literally for, you know, right. I'm not doing it right. Okay. For me, Bryce, I would, I would switch over to correctamente or something like that. I'm not doing it correctly. But you, yeah. Okay. So I'm not well, doing, I'm not yes. doing it well. I'm not doing it right. Okay. Low equals yo. Low equals it, right? Yes. It. So yo can mean it? No. 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 Just, yeah. <laughs> We're just typing too fast. Okay. okay. I'm not doing it right. Okay. And estoy is me. Right? So that's how we know who's not doing it right. 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 It's me. It's me. Okay, number four. Can we go back to that one real quick? Sure. Um, I recently I've run into things like you know they used yo instead of me. Yo and instead the, of me. Like like a sentence. Por lo que he say yo. What in the heck does that mean? Por lo que he say yo. Okay. Then it goes on to say loke di hey yo. I mean, are they using yo instead of me? Huh. It's like saying what I said, what I did. Well, so sometimes, like what I did. <clears throat> yes. Or is it I am what they did it for, or whatever? I'm, you know. Well, it has. It's the I, and you know, in English, how sometimes it's I did versus something happened to me there's a mm -hmm. difference between when we use i and when we use me right okay so in spanish the yo is more like i and the me is more like me now okay. that's not a hard rule but just just as far as in your mind yo is what i it relates to i do something i did something now what gets confusing is if something happens, like in this case, <clears throat> all right? Right. Um, so this is what, what I did, right? And this is what I said. So that's yep. where the yo is coming in. And just for that first one, it's because of what I did. Okay. You say por lo que, but because of... What I right. right. So, ise is past tense, right? Yes. I see. Okay. I was translating that wrong. Thank you very much. Okay. So, ise is did. Great. Dije is past tense said. Um, in, okay. If it helps with these two words, low K, it might help you to think of that instead of thinking that as what, thinking of it as like that which. It, it's not right. exact because it's not which, it's not qual, but low K in English, sometimes we say that which I did. I mean, that would be really formal and then it's not used, nobody uses it. But just as far as thinking about the sentence. Okay. All right. Thank you. 
Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> Somebody See, raise their uh, hand. <laughs> Nobody wants to raise their hand. I'll try again if nobody speaks up. It was English. Okay. <laughs> That's a hard one. Say están vistiendo para ir a la iglesia. Mm -hmm. hmm. So you don't need to say. Oh, there we go. Is it correct without the say? Whoops. <clears throat> no, vestirse is what you want. Es a reflexi. Yeah, you do want vestirse, but you can, reflexive verbs, you can often put the say in different places, right? <clears throat> Okay. Did you stop sharing? Would I stop sharing? Did you stop sharing? I did not. Can you not see it? It went away for me. Can other people still see the document? <laughs> I yeah. see it. Yeah. Maybe it's on a different screen, Steve. <laughs> and that's pronounced VC and Dose? Correcto, vistiéndose. Uh, so it will be correct. It will be uh, correct. Say están if you put the say at the beginning. In the hunt, uh, at the, the end, I mean, están vistiéndose yeah. para ir a la iglesia. Okay. Great. All right. Hey, uh, I wanted to say something real quick. Uh, on the the loke lo, loke is is used a lot. Um, just think of it as when you're making a statement, well, what did you say? What I said is, uh, you know, what did you do? What I did what is, you know, what I did was, uh, or, you know, what are you going to do? Well, what I'm going to do is we look at, look at what I said, you know, what I'm, you know, just, just, just think of it as what I'm going, it, it's, it's the statement, you know, well, what I said is what I'm going to do or what I cook is, or, uh, you know, just, just kind of think of it, loke is, is, is that in a statement form. Okay, great. Because this loke is used a lot. It's used a lot, so. <laughs> it is. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, <clears throat> everybody learning something? Yes. yes. Okay. Very fast pace. Me siento. And it's not lo siento, it's me siento. Me siento. Mm -hmm. Siento. Me siento muy enfermo. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling Mm-hmm. So think about this. Hmm. Very sick, yeah. Okay. It's not really feeling. I feel very sick. There you go. I feel very sick. Right. Oh, no. Yes. Is that what you intended to show, Bryce? Yeah, yes. I, I feel very sick, yes. Okay, different than I am feeling very sick. Yes. So anybody want to take a stab at I am feeling very sick? Doug knows everything. Uh, I, I know yes, that. that's uh, true. I, don't know I confirm I that. <laughs> he's, he's he really knows this stuff too. He and he and Bryce get together. You could you guys could co-author a book. Yeah, but there's a difference, there's, a difference between, there's a difference between knowing it and being able to speak it. 
uh, <laughs> conversation. Uh -huh. You know what? That's cool. Uh, I love all these authors that uh, write or you know uh, books together. It's uh -huh. really cool. So mm -hmm. I support you. The less and Bryce is easy to work with. <laughs> uh -huh. um, does is anybody else not seeing the shared screen? It's just Steve. I'm seeing it. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Okay, something in your settings, Steve. I okay. No, I'm gonna, I had uh, it, but because I had it, and Steve's, all of a sudden, it. All right, it's I'm gonna bizarre. I'm gonna stop sharing. Okay, everybody. Can Hi, Steve. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let me try it again. Okay. Uh, and it's back. All right. All right. All right. Now let me get uh, the chat and the participants. And all right. Great. Great. Okay. Um, okay. I'm finally. Okay. Any questions on Maya Stoy? Nope. Okay. What about Sintiendo? No, that's pretty clear. Okay. Does it make sense when Anna writes it like this? Estoy sintiéndome. You'll hear both. You will hear both. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. <clears throat> and what's the... Isn't it if you if you put no in front of it, you can't do that. Is that right? If you put no at the beginning, no me estoy sintiendo muy enfermo. Right. Uh, you can say no me, uh, no me siento, no me siento enfermo, or no me siento muy enfermo. Okay. Okay. Um, but, I mean, you can say no me estoy sintiendo, but it would be more common to say no me siento enfermo. Okay. But I thought when you make it a negative, you can't put the may at the end. Is that right? Or am I making that up? Uh, probably with, um, <laughs> with other examples, other verbs, maybe. <laughs> okay. So the, this way. the question, right. It, so it's not okay to say, no estoy sintiendo me. It's, it's just not very common it's not common okay. I, I just wanted to make a just a small point on that you know we're we're doing the present progressive for these things but for a lot of these things um probably most commonly it's just spoken it without the present progressive like what i said like the first one you know he he's painting his room probably you hear Pinta su cuarto more than está pintando su cuarto, but it's still it's still correct. Both are still correct. I just mm -hmm. just wanted to state that. Thank you. All right. Finally, I'm um, finally doing something. So this is a phrase you want to learn. All right. This is one that you want to write down in your journal. I'm finally something. How do we say that? How do we how do we build that sentence? Uh, finalmente me estoy acostumbrado a este clima, I think. Brando. Finalmente me estoy acostumbrado Brando. a este clima. Se aca acostumbrando. Acostumbrando Brando. a este clima. Mm -hmm. I am not. It's going to be 113 here tomorrow. Uh, okay. Finalmente estoy acostumbrándome. Did you say por fin? Por fin? Yeah. Can you say yes. por fin? Yeah, instead of, what did you put? I can't read it. It's too little. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, is it too small? Is it too small, everybody? I could probably make it bigger, I thought. Oh yeah, I can get it. There we go. 
I can make it bigger also. Oh, thank you. All right. Por fin, finalmente, yeah. Okay, por fin, por fin. It's like, at last. <laughs> right? It's not working for you, is it? <laughs> yeah. At it's too last. hot there. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not. Okay. Okay. Um, it's a dry but, heat. It's, it's that's what everybody says. So is, <laughs> so is an oven. Right. <laughs> yeah, I want to make a. I just want to make a, a a small point on on this uh, example. Well, uh, the the verb is acostumbrarse, but think of it as just like you see here, acostumbrarse a, acostumbrándome a. So, whatever that's. That's basically what you want to think of it as a costumbras a ah. Now you could also use, you know, if you were I'm getting used to eating liver. Well, that's something that would never happen, but I, I, would, I would say uh acostumbrando a comer hígado. So it would be acostumbrando a plus the infinitive of whatever right. it is. So you don't eat liver and Anna does not eat garlic. Isn't that cool? <laughs> <laughs> it's convenient <laughs> okay all right everybody know how to say liver and garlic uh, garlic. garlic is uh, rice eats garlic he likes I will have to change that <laughs> 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 I will try to do my best. <laughs> he says no. <laughs> he will change his mind. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay. Who's who's next? Let's try and get Raquel or Asalia or chip in here with number seven. Okay. Sorry. There you lo are. Hace, lo hace constantemente. Exactly. Lo hace constantemente. Maybe it's she or he. Uh, yes. Does, does it constantly? Yes. Mm. So. So how else do we say that in English? He does it all the time. She does it all the time. <laughs> right? He or she does it continuously. All the time? Continuous. Continuously, constantly, yeah. continuously, yeah. all the time. What about, okay, um, <clears throat> okay, how do we say that? He, she always does it. Or does that? Does it? Does. Siempre hace eso? Siempre, right? Siempre lo hace. Mm -hmm. She always right. does that. I, said, oh, I don't know. How about how do we say that? Mm. Siempre lo hace de esa manera? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I don't know. So, Raquel, say that in English. Say that sentence in English. He, she always does it that way. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. Great. Um, I'm totally against this. I'm totally against this. Asalia, okay. Uh, 
Um, I'm not sure, but estoy totalmente desacuerdo o contra esto, contra esto. I would say, uh, contra. En contra. Oh, en desacuerdo, en desacuerdo. Desacuerdo. I'm I'm not in a I'm totally not in agreement with this. In contra de esto, okay, against. I I I totally disagree with this. Uh, what were you thinking, Bryce? Well, I was um estoy totalmente en contra de, de esto. That's that's what I was thinking, but. Of course, the other ones is still the same sentiment. Estoy totalmente yeah. en desacuerdo. Yeah, yeah. But I had a feeling that uh, yes, that, that was what. Liter you... Yes, literally, that is the that's that's it. Yes. Okay. So against, opposed, right? But for the for the Spanish speakers, okay. Contra de eso. All right. If we say opposed, we need to, opposed to this. Have you heard? Has escuchado? Opposed to. I'm totally opposed to this. Contra. Contra. <laughs> Steve. Okay. Um, let's not write that. Normalmente. <laughs> okay, any questions on number eight? Mm -hmm. Or any suggestions? What else can we say? Do we ever say things a different way? That's pretty good. I totally disagree with this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do we say that? It's, isn't, that uh, isn't that the first one? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's actually bring that down. <clears throat> okay. Normalmente, somebody read that. Normalmente me llevo bien. Con todo el mundo, pero no me cae bien este tipo. <laughs> Normally, I'm cool with everybody, but this guy, except this guy. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Normally. <laughs> okay. No me cae bien este tipo. Let's let's jump into that a little bit further. Now I love that you said I'm cool with everybody. Uh, I love. But I know me guy being but this this guy, this kind, this this guy, this not not with this guy. Or but I know me guy be, but this guy doesn't. I there's a word in a uh, phrase in English I can't think of it though. In el mundo, pero no me cae bien. But this this guy doesn't suit me. This guy is not my kind of guy. Well, I don't like him. Like, I don't like him. <laughs> yeah. I don't like him? Wow, that's really simple and right. <laughs> I'm cool with everything, but I don't like him. <laughs> now, one thing I wanted to say, just say, it, it still makes it still I makes the exact same meaning, uh, but just, just so everyone knows, the uh, reflexive is llevarse bien, uh, which is to get along with, or in this case, we're using it, you know, yes, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, to get along with, llevarse bien is to get along with, get along well. <laughs> yeah, get along with everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's more common, but I'm cool with is so, it, it's very common also. I'm cool with that, right? So. Now, now is it true if you use like, you know, um, like you meet a woman and you'd say, I like her, 
but it's better to say she she falls well against me, right? So you're not giving the the idea that you know you like her that way or something. Is that correct or not? That you're after yeah. you want to date her? Well, you don't want to say, you know, me gusta, you know. Me gusta, yeah. You don't want to say that unless you, unless you feel, you know, unless you really do yeah. feel, you know, something more. But I don't like him. I don't like her, you know, no me cae bien or me cae bien. You know, I like him. I like her. Me cae bien is the answer, Bob, I think is what you're looking for is. What's that? I think what you're looking for is, yes, you can say me cae bien. It's better to say that, right? If you don't really know them that well or something. Or, well, well, if you don't feel romantically. Uh, right, that's it. That's the word. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. So that's a great thing for everybody. All right. Me cae bien is a, another way to say like. I like. Okay. Is the people. Cool. All right. Cool. All right. He simply <laughs> needs more time to recuperate. I love that word. Who wants to say that? <laughs> okay, Ken, go ahead. Uh, ask to unmute. I'm going to try that. Unmute. Can you unmute, Ken? Oh. There you go. El simplemente necesitas más tiempo a recuper recuperarte. Almost. Yep. Oh, okay. Look at the end of that. Okay, so now read that whole sentence, Ken. Okay. El simplemente necesita más tiempo para recuperar. Okay. Okay. Recuperarse. 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 That was good. Okay. Oh, thank now. you. Also say para, 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 para recuperarse. Para recuperarse. Good. And Anna has broken down the syllables. Okay. Thank you. Recuperarse. Thank you, Anna. Recuperarse. Recuperar. Thank you. Great. You're welcome. Great. <clears throat> All right. Simplemente or solo or solo. He just, he only. All right, let's write a couple of those options. Right? Means the same thing. He just needs more time to recuperate. He only needs more time to recuperate. Good? All right. Question. So, instead of recuperate, can I say recover? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Good job. Yep. And I think in that case, I, I think just is, is like very, very common. He just yeah, probably... needs, he just needs, right? Ahora mismo. <laughs> what does that mean? Right now. Right now. Right now. <laughs> right? Right now, I'm helping my son with his science project. Bueno. Um, is it... Okay, so how do I ask? Um, 
The same. ¿Qué está haciendo ahora? Okay. Um, that's now. <coughs> Estás haciendo. ¿Qué, qué está amigo? haciendo ahora? No? Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, what's the difference between now and right now? Eh, ahorita, la misma. ahorita en ahora, right? Mm -hmm. La misma. Mm -hmm. Está haciendo ahora. Now, just keep in mind that ahorita doesn't always mean ahorita. That's right. <laughs> it's depending on who's saying it. It could be yeah, tomorrow. Are you coming? Or, or, <laughs> are you? Are you, are you yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, James. <laughs> Why are you so mad? <laughs> That's <laughs> Anna time. <laughs> Be careful. With that. What, did it, what did it mean? Pardon? What did it mean, Orita? A Aurita. little hour? Uh, it's ahora, right well, now. But sometimes, right now. <laughs> but sometimes you will hear us say, Aurita, boy. <laughs> but I will go right now. I will go later in five, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. Aurita, boy. Okay. Oh, okay. Ahorita llego. Oh. But it's not Probably right now. Some, sometimes, never. <laughs> <laughs> Ahorita te llamo. But, but, but oh literally, yes, right now. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, but this is common. This is, this is a common thing that you will hear all the time. Ahorita, right? Uh, yeah, it's, it's like in a minute or soon or mm. I'll be there in a minute. Right, it could be half an hour, an hour, you know. It, it could Only be immediately, never. okay. Like, it's never, never. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. This is okay. <clears throat> uh, Raquel, I want to pick on you again. This is a this is a good word for you. Okay. My niece is going to graduate next year. See, you know all this stuff. You know all, all of this stuff. Good job. What is a niece? What is a niece? Mm, I can't think of it. Me. Um, uh, sobrina. Sobrina. Mi sobrina. <laughs> sobrina. Se va a graduar el próximo año. Se va. Se va. A graduar. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> all the English speakers, if you are practicing with the Spanish speakers, help them with these words like niece. There is no way to know how that's pronounced without hearing it. Right. <laughs> so it's, it's really important that you help your Spanish speaking partner with the words like these, niece and nephew, niece uh, and nephew, help them say it a hundred times. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But then that will also help it sink in for you, sobrino and sobrina, right? right. Okay. Hey, I wanted to make a small note on something real quick. Uh, on the one where it says right now, I'm helping my son with the science project. If I was just to say right now, I'm helping him with a science project, of course, I, it would be low. You know, low estoy ayudando con su proyecto de ciencias or estoy ayudándolo uh, con su pro But Well, my, my point in saying that is you use the personal I ah when you're actually, you know, my son, a mi hijo. But when you oh, use okay. the, when you use the, the uh, pronoun, it, it, you don't use the personal I. Ah. So how do I work the... Ahora mismo into that. Ahora mismo lo estoy. You know, where you can just, this is just ayudando con su, because I'm already used, the low is already represented. In this case, I'm just saying I'm helping him. I'm just helping him instead of saying my son. Uh 
Okay. So you guys can get you know get used to the pronouns low because you use low, you're gonna use low a lot. All right. Thank you, Bryce. Thank you. Welcome. All right. Deveria. Oh, this is a good word. Afeitarme. Afeitarme. Afeitarme to build a new Pango temple. Mm -hmm. Keep going. I should shave, but I don't have time. I never had time. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. Cool. So I have a question. That's can, why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> so can you say I should shave myself or it's just like I? No, I, should yeah. shave. I should shave. Uh, I we should. don't say myself in this case. Thank you. If we say I should shave myself, it paints oh, a different geez. picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Okay, it's a different picture. Yeah, totally. Okay. Um, I should shave. Good question, Asalia. Really good question. Okay. Um, <clears throat> ahorita. Me voy ahorita. <laughs> Is that right? Well, I was going to say is technically that is correct, but it's, it's more common for a person to just say Yame Boy. Okay, that's yeah. great. Yame Boy. Yes. I would have said Me Boy Ahorra. Me Boy Ahorra. That's what I would have said. Me Boy a ir Ahorra. Boy a ir. I'm going to leave now. Going to leave. Me Boy. Me voy ahora. That's why I would say that. Um, Bryce, why is za? Like, why we use like za here? The... Ya. Yeah. Well, ya yeah just indicates, like, in this case, well, ya, yeah, you know, has different uses. Sometimes it could mean no more, but in this case. Ya is the real right now. <laughs> yes. Ya, yeah, I mean, right now, yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. As opposed to. Of course. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, it, in different. <laughs> instances it can mean something else like already or right you know like i can't do this anymore ya no puedo hacer esto it just it means I'm, i can't do this anymore in that case but in this case it means you know i'm leaving ya right now so you hear it all the time in commercials it's like jama ja <laughs> so yama, yama i love that ja. jama jama ja. Ja. right now oh, like, right now right now in this moment yep. okay so that's right ja, is one of the most important words for everybody to get comfortable with, all right? It is used mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. When you're talking to your child and you want them to come to you now, it's like, ja, ja. <laughs> or, wow. Like now. <laughs> Could you say, estoy saliendo? Oh, good yeah. question. Excellent yeah, question. You can say that. Estoy saliendo. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. What's the difference? Like I'm going out now. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Like leaving, okay. going out of a place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay. Ah. Ah. This is one that probably everyone says a lot, <laughs> whatever, whatever language in any language. <laughs> what does it mean? Uh, why are you laughing? Uh huh. Oh, what are you laughing about? What are you laughing about? Yes, what are you laughing about? Okay. 
And I want to make the same comment about this word. If you're practicing, help people pronounce this word laughing. You, there's no way to read that word and know how it's pronounced until you hear it. Okay. Laughing, laughing. All right. Okay. What are you laughing about? And uh, we have this discussion a lot about what are you laughing at? When, when we are practicing, try to say laughing instead of laughing. Okay. Laughing. 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 Right. Okay. Now you're going to hear. You're going to hear, what are you laughing about? Laughing. What are you laughing about? Right? Yep. But let's help everybody say laughing about. Laughing about. Laughing about. All right? Yeah, because that's a great point. If what we're trying to do is help people mm -hmm. speak correctly and then introduce people to what you often hear. Okay. Cool. That's a great point because a lot of people leave off the G, you know. Mm -hmm. I've even done it. I do it sometimes. <laughs> oh, we all, yeah, absolutely. Yes. We all do. It's, it's colloquial. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's just a point. If we're helping people, let's help them, but then let's also introduce them to what's common. And that's also helpful. Right? Great point. Great Thank point. That was really meaningful. Yes, that's me. Okay. Um <clears throat> what do I need? I feel like I need to stand up for a few minutes. I've been sitting down all day. <laughs> Someone? Necesito sentarme unos minutos. Mm-hmm. And we can do the same thing in English. I need to sit down a few minutes, or I need to sit down for a few minutes. Yep. It's okay. So let's go ahead and make that clear for the Spanish speakers who might be reading this tomorrow. Okay. Podemos decir, necesito sentarme. I need to sit down for a few minutes. I need to sit down a few minutes. You will hear both. Yeah. Good? Yeah. All right. Love this one. Charlotte, I haven't heard from you yet today. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Give it a shot. I have to, something about being in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, not, not, no, it's not, it's that I, it's you. Yeah. There, so. You have to hurry up. Hurry up, yeah. Let's do that, hurry up. Darte prisa, is that what you thought, Bryce? Yes, you have to. Well, you have to hurry. You have to hurry. Have to hurry, those, have to hurry those, those, those are all the same. Right. Okay. You have to hurry. Good job, Charlotte. All right. You have to hurry. You have to hurry up. So, um, and the up is optional, right? I, I, let me let me write that. Hurry slash hurry up. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, we almost got through it today. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, excellent. Let's all thank Bryce. Gracias, Bryce. Oh, that's just five. You're I, welcome. He hates <laughs> it. He hates it when I do that. But, <laughs> but you know, boy, he deserves the love. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to stop sharing.
Okay, any other observations, questions? I just found a wonderful song on the internet called Gracia. It's by um, a group that does elevation worship. And it's in Spanish. It's wonderful. That was that example I used earlier the, with the low in it. Okay. They have a lot of things like that. If anybody's interested, it's really a nice, slow, beautiful song. And it's easy to, you know, understand. I think the, the group might enjoy it. Uh, feel free to share the link. Share it. Yes, the, share it. <laughs> right? Share the link in the WhatsApp group. Or you can it's share on, it. It's um, on, what is it called? Um, now I can't think of it. Where's all the music at? The... Um, Spotify. music videos spotify youtube YouTube, YouTube, spotify. YouTube, youtube is the one i used yeah thank you mm -hmm. um it's free you know to listen to and it's called gracia at the number three and then d g a r ocular it's really a beautiful song i think you'll love it and he has several other songs on there too you might check out so be sure you do check for the Spanish one though, because it's in English and Spanish. Uh, I'm so not... what's the full name? It's called Gracia. Am I saying yes. that right, Gracia? For G Grace, I guess. Oh, okay, Gracia three. Gracia, and it's at it's three D G A R, and then Aguilar. Aguilar. That's his um. Yeah. That's where you can find him at. But look for him on YouTube. Oh, hold on. And it's What's under Elevation. Name? Name? No, Vistaprint for business cards. Hold on, we just help a second. Millions of businesses. The song's named uh, Gracia. Okay, just a and moment. The guy, I think the guy that does it is the 3DGR. It's Edgar Aguilar. <laughs> oh, are you going to put it on here? I'm going to see. Is it this guy? Oh, that's, it's that one right there. It's so wonderful. And the words are... We'll come Hold up on. there on the um, right hand side so you can see the words as he's singing. Hold on, just very fun. I'll give everybody a little taste. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> it's a beautiful I song. Sound. All right. So I Que la gracia de Dios puede hacer mm. Si supieras lo que yo sufrí Podrías ver lo que ha hecho en mí Cambió mi vida y me transformó Eso es lo que hizo la gracia de Dios I do like that. Isn't that really? beautiful? It's yeah. very He's beautiful. got a beautiful voice. It's very clear. I love yeah. that. Okay. I do love that. Thank you for sharing that. You bet. I'm, I thought maybe you guys would like it. So Yeah. Uh, yeah share, share music. I, I'm always excited when I hear a new song, <laughs> a song that I haven't heard before I like. So. All right. Um, I put that into the Conectado group. Um. <clears throat> If anybody's offended, they don't have to watch. No, they don't have to watch. That's right. Right? Okay. Um, all right. Uh, I love this. Good. Feel free, everybody, to share whatever is helping you. Um, learn more. Get used to more. Um, whatever is helping you might help other people also. Uh, cool. We are trying to provide a good safe place and all of the tools and materials, you know, to help you practice together and make and move forward. Um, but this is a warm community and help each other. Right. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Anna, no. is there anything that I'm forgetting like normal? Barba. <laughs> anything I am forgetting like I normally do? No. <laughs> no? You're doing a great job. Okay. And it's my memory, my... Yep. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for being here on this Thursday.
Uh, I will do my best to make it on Wednesday again next week. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. Adios. Thank you. Adios. Thank you. Adios. Adios. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Be nice. Adios. Yep. Just be nice. Ciao. Siempre. Uh, bye. Bye. Adios, que te vaya bien, vaya con Dios, as they say. Igualmente, igualmente. Gracias. Chao.